In this video, we're going to have a look at how to multiply and divide integers. Now, like we said in the previous video, integers are just that group of numbers, uh, positive and negative whole numbers, including zero. Okay, now, if we just look at multiplying integers just now, okay, now, you could have both numbers positive. You could have both numbers negative. Or you could have a mixture of signs. So you could have negative 3 times 4, or you could have 3 times negative 4. Okay, so in these two calculations, the signs are the same, and in these two calculations, the signs are different. Now, the rule when you're multiplying or dividing integers is that when the signs are the same, you always get a positive answer. Okay, so let's look at some examples. If you have, for example, uh, 3 times 2, you know the answer is 6. Okay, if you were to have negative 4 times negative 5, a negative times a negative, same signs, so positive answer, so it's positive 20. Okay, the same is true for division. If you were to do 40 divided by 8, you have the same signs, so you get a positive answer of 5. And again, if we had a negative number divided by a negative number, the signs are the same, the answer is positive, so it's positive 2. Okay? Now, on the other hand, if you have different signs, you always end up with a negative answer. So if you have negative 2 multiplied by 4, that's going to give you negative 8. Different signs, one negative, one positive, so you always get a negative answer. Okay? If we have... Um, 16 multiplied by negative 2. Okay, different signs, negative answer. If we do a division with different signs, 42 divided by negative 6, you end up with negative 7 because the signs are different. And also, if we do negative 14 divided by positive 7, different signs, negative answer, so you'd get negative 2. Okay, so same signs, positive answer, different signs, negative answer. That's what you need to remember. Okay, so let's do a few examples together just now, and then I'll put up a few for yourselves to do as well. Okay, so let's firstly do 7 multiplied by negative 3, and then we'll have a look at negative 4 multiplied by negative 2. Then we'll have a look at negative 8 multiplied by 7. Okay? Now, you know 7 threes are 21. So you know your answer is going to contain 21, but the signs here are different. So it's negative 21. Here, you know 4 twos are 8. The signs are the same, so it's positive 8. Okay? Here, you know 7 eights are 56. The signs are different, so it's negative 56. And if we do one more, let's have a look at negative 9 squared. Now, what does that mean? When something's squared, it's multiplied by itself. So this is just negative 9 multiplied by negative 9. 9 nines are 81. Our signs are the same, so it's positive 81. Okay. Let's have a look at some division. Let's do... Um, 20 divided by negative 5. Let's do negative 72 divided by negative 8. And let's do negative 14 divided by negative 2. Okay. Now, 20 divided by 5 is 4, but here the signs are different. Positive, negative, so negative answer. 72 divided by 8, that would be 9, but negative and negative, same signs, so it's positive answer, okay, positive 9. And here again, same signs, positive answer, 14 divided by 2 is 7, okay. Now, I'm going to put up a few questions for yourselves to try, so you can pause your video once they're all up, and then you can have a bash yourselves and see how you get on, okay. So, 4 times negative 3 is your first one. Then we'll do negative 7 times 6. 
then we'll do negative 2 all squared and we'll do negative 25 multiplied by negative 3 okay and we'll do a few divisions um, we need some space for the answer should we move this down a wee bit so let's say that e is um, negative 24 divided by 6 and we'll say that f is uh, 32 divided by negative 8 and say g is negative 90 divided by negative 3 and we'll say h is 14 multiplied by negative 3 and we'll say i is 4 we'll say negative 4 multiplied by negative 3 multiplied by 2 okay so try these yourselves and see how you get on so 4 times negative 3 that's negative 12 different signs negative 7 times 6 again different signs so negative 42 this is negative 2 times negative 2 the signs are the same so it's positive 4 for d the signs again are the same so this is positive 75 here the signs are different 24 divided by 6 negative 24 divided by 6 is negative 4 here the signs are different again so it's negative 4 here the signs are the same so it's positive 30 here the signs are different so it's negative 42 and lastly we have three integers all being multiplied together you just deal with them two at a time deal with this first of all negative 4 times negative 3 that's going to be positive 12 now you then have to multiply that by 2 okay same signs 12 times 2 24 so whenever you have a calculation to do where there's more than one uh, number being multiplied or divided or whatever just take them two at a time and you will cope fine okay so that's how you multiply and divide integers and i hope that that uh, was helpful